Hello everyone and welcome back to Milo Farms. Well today's the big day, we're getting the honeybees. So what we have set up here so far is we've got all three hives. We've got the screen bottom board, we've got the entrance reducer, we've got a large hive body with the frames inside, 10 frames. We have the inner cover and then we have a medium hive body on top which is empty and inside of that will be the top cover feeder that's going to go inside. We still need to make up the sugar solution to go in that. We'll show how to do that. And then here in just a little bit, we're going to be taking off to go pick up our bees. And we're going to try to document as much as we can along the way. This is the first time we've ever done this. Never had any experience with it. So I've read as much as we can, watched as many videos as we can, learned as much as possible. So we'll see what happens. I know we're going to make mistakes along the way. If anybody has questions or comments or advice, please share that in the comments below. So today we're starting with mixing the sugar syrup at a one to one ratio for the bees. We have this hive top feeder that we're going to put in the top of the hive once we get the bees installed. This hive top feeder has a lid that goes on. You fill the syrup around here and put the lid on. Then the bees crawl up the inside, which has a texture to it, like a ladder, and then they can crawl down and get the syrup out of the feeder without drowning. The syrup's gonna be mixed at a one-to-one -one ratio, and they use the saying, a pint to pound, for the syrup. So we're gonna be mixing, we're gonna make two gallons of water with 16 pounds of sugar. There's 32 cups of water and 16 pounds of sugar. Use hot water or warm water to help melt the sugar. And then we're going to put this out in the refrigerator overnight and get it ready to feed the bees as soon as they arrive. Well, we made it back safe and sound with our three packages of bees. The bees came with an instruction sheet that they say is the proper procedure of introducing the bees into the new hive. So what we have here is we have our hive tool and our bee brush just in case we need those. We have our pollen patty, one pollen patty for each new hive one hive top feeder for each new hive, and then we have our sugar solution spray, a one-to-one -one mixture that we're gonna spray the bees with prior to installing them to calm them down and keep them occupied while we're installing them. So here we have three packages of bees. In the middle is a can that's full of the food that they've been eating while being transported, and over to the left on this metal tab is a small queen cage that we'll see once we do the installation. As you can see right now, the bees are all huddled around the queen keeping each other warm and keeping each other safe over there. <clears throat> the queen cage has a small hole in the end of it. Some of the queen cages, not these in particular, have a candy plug in the queen cage already. These that we have here, the gentleman we picked them up from said to pull the plug out and put a gumdrop in the hole instead of a candy plug. So that was the instructions that these came with. I hadn't seen that before. I don't know if that's a good way or a bad way. You can leave comments on what you think about that. Uh, I really don't know either way, but that's what we have, and that's the only ones we're gonna be able to get, so. 
this is what we're going to do. We're going to head out and try to install them. We'll do the best we can getting a video of that. I don't know how it's going to go. But again, anybody has any comments or thoughts or recommendations, let us know in the comments. We'll see what we can do. Okay, so we have all of our equipment here. What we're going to do first is we're going to take the cover off and get the hive all ready. We've got the cover, we've got the medium hive body, and we've got the inner cover. We're going to take out three frames in the middle. That's where the bees are going to get dumped into. All of this is new equipment, so there's no comb or anything on it. It does have as you can see here, it has plastic foundation with some beeswax that's been kind of put on it from the factory. But it's all got the shapes of the comb on it and everything, so they're going to build that material back out into their honeycomb that they need. So we've got our package of bees right here. We're going to take the package and we're going to spray them with the sugar water. The sugar water isn't hurting them or anything, it's just kind of sticking them together so they're kind of a blob and it's going to keep them occupied while they're while we're doing this process. It's going to make them kind of sticky, make them kind of stick together and give them something to do. They're going to be licking each other off and cleaning each other up. So we're going to bounce it down a couple times, not hurting them, it's just getting them off the ceiling in there. We're going to spray them just a little bit more. You can see all of them are up there because that's where the queen was on that side. <clears throat> so we're going to start with pulling our can out here. This can had the food in it that they were eating while they were in transport. I don't know how long they were in transport, but this can has a sugar syrup in it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slide this piece of cardboard under here in hopes that we don't have as many escapes while we're trying to do this. Okay, then what we've got over here is we've got our queen cage is on this little metal tab. What we want to do is pull this cardboard just enough to the side to get the queen out without getting too many other bees out with her. There's definitely going to be some bees on her because she's putting out her pheromones. And what we want to do now is we want to remove the plug that's on the queen cage. And this is per the instructions from the gentleman we got the bees from. Quite often they will have down in the end of the queen cage, they'll have a candy already in there. And all you do is uncover the candy and then the bees will eat that out. To get the queen out but in this case it just has a cork so what we want to do is we want to get that cork out but we do not want to release the queen so we want to get the cork out she's up at top and we don't want her to escape in the process This is a little difficult because I've kind of got some sugar syrup and stuff on my hands now. It's all sticky. So we've got our queen in there. She's kind of down at the other end. We're going to put our candy on there and kind of push it in. You can see it kind of ooze out the other side. And then just kind of break the excess off. So we've got our queen in there, and there's some other bees that are trying to take care of her. The queen has to be able to be fed once she gets into the box. So what we want to do is we want to put her in between a frame so the bees can still get to her and feed her. If we take her and we put her in like this and put the screen side up against the, 
comb, they're not going to be able to feed the queen and she's going to die. So what we want to do is we want to put her sideways like this and we want to put her up to the top so she's kind of pinned right there and we want to use this metal thing, this metal tab and bend it over the edge like that. Again my fingers are all sticky and this is making it kind of complicated but that's okay. So we've got everything ready to go. We've got everything prepared here. We've got the space for our bees to go into. One more time, we're gonna bounce them back down. And we'll spray them just a little bit more, just to make sure they're kinda of occupied doing something here. My spray bottle's not the best here. And here we go. Just gonna dump them right on in. Now we're going to take this package and we're going to set it right up here in front, lean it up against the front. The others will figure out the plan where the queen is and they will follow her in, follow in her direction in there. So we're going to take our frames and put them back in. We do not want to just shove the frames in here and squish the bees. We want to set them in kindly and we want to let the bees kind of get out of the way. You'll sort of feel the frame will kind of work its way down slowly. The bees are getting out of the way from underneath it. They're not getting crushed. They're kind of moving, spreading out in there, and the frame will kind of drop into place. And we've got the next one. Kind of drop it in nicely. And then we have the last one here. And again, we don't want to just shove it in there. We want to just set it in nicely. Then we want to use our hive tool. And we want to tighten up the hive, the frames, just a little bit. So they're all centered as best they can. Obviously, the one with the queen in it cannot be pushed tight, but the rest of them can be. Then we're going to take our pollen patty. Put it over here in the corner. Then we're going to take our inner cover. And again, we're going to set it down here nicely. We don't want to squish any bees if we don't have to. We want to just nicely move it in, get the bees out of the way. And then we want to center it up. And we've got our hive top feeder. We have the hole in the center of the inner cover. We also have the hole in the feeder. They go right on top of each other. Center that right there. And we're gonna dump some more syrup into this one. This feeder is supposed to hold about a gallon. It may hold just a little bit more than that. But in the center, it has little serrations all the way around there and kind of like a ladder. The bees can climb up it, then they'll climb over the top and get to that sugar water, and then they can eat that. lid on here. We can already see a bee's coming up in there exploring a little bit. We want to get this taken care of before too many more get in there. We 
put our medium hive body on top, nothing inside of it, it's just protecting the feeder. In about four days we'll check back on this, we we'll, might have to give them some more feed, we'll make sure the queen has been released, make sure everything's looking good. And what we want to do is get this cover on and get that all closed up. Alright, so we finished installing all three packages of bees. We're going to leave the packages sitting in front overnight. The remainder of the bees that are still alive in those packages will come out and go up and join the rest of their group inside the hive. We've got all three of them here. We filled the inner feeders with a gallon of uh, syrup each. We put a pollen patty inside and we're going to leave everything for four days. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these uh, packages out of here tomorrow, get them out of the way once they're done with those. The other thing we did, any garbage that you have in the, the apiary, they call it, in the area where your beehives are, uh, you don't want to leave garbage on the ground. For example, later on if you pulled some honeycomb out or something, you don't want to throw it on the ground because it'll attract uh, pests and things like that. So we cleaned everything up, we picked up the rest of our stuff, we're going to haul the rest off and we're just going to leave these guys alone. It's late in the evening right now, just getting ready to get dark, so they're going to get settled in for the evening, and we'll see what happens. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. We'd like everybody to check out a new channel that we have, a side channel that's my wife's channel. It's called Mrs. Milo Farms. You can just search that and find it. It'll have more humorous videos and things like that that are not as uh, you know, farm-oriented in the way of projects we're working on and things like that. It'll have more humorous videos and things that she's come up with. <clears throat> so we'd also like you to check that out. And we're going to have some more bee videos coming up. And we'll see you next time here on Milo Farms. Please like, comment, and subscribe.